Hola, soy Miriam Ballesteros y soy directora de MB Producciones y estoy encantada de estar en WEG. Hoy quiero presentaros nuestro último proyecto que es Cenicienta Mascarada, un trabajo en el que hemos tratado de integrar diferentes capas de intereses. En la primera capa está nuestra pasión por los cuentos clásicos, ese caos de mitos, de sueños, de miedos que compartimos tanta gente en el mundo. En la segunda están los superhéroes. Al principio mmm, no sabíamos cómo integrar esa idea, pero nosotros sentimos y pensamos que para la audiencia actual es mucho más gratificante que una chica con una vida como la de Cenicienta llegue a ser una heroína en lugar de casarse con un príncipe. Pero la capa que a nuestro parecer ha dado un verdadero sentido al proyecto es convertir el mundo de los cuentos en una parodia de nuestro mundo. Un lugar mágico, con espejo móviles, con bola ordenadores y donde la sociedad camina hacia lo políticamente correcto. Espero que os resulte interesante y os guste este proyecto. Gracias. Gertrude, it can't be her. Cinderella's at home doing her chores and... ...our homework. It is her. Look at her fawning all over Prince Charming in front of everyone. Sorry, Cinders, but this is my dance. <laughs> Thank you for calling Rumpelstiltskin Stores. For dark magic, press 1. For large, terrifying monsters, press 2. For spells to pass Stop exams... already! I want a giant! The most terrifying one you've got, and I want it now! <gasps> Pumpkins! Cinders, the anti-giant alarm went off. Uh, where did I put the giant repellent? Oh, and is it past its sell-by date? Oh, it's not here! It's not here! It's not here! It's not here! Come on, Merlin, relax. I don't think giants are actually as scary as people say. What? I've read about monsters, and they are bad, horrible, toothy, slobbery news. And I don't think they're all that big either. <laughs> This is the story of a normal teen who becomes the heroine of her fairy tale world, the story of Masked Cinderella, an animated series for all ages, a comedy full of magic and adventure. Everyone knows the story of Cinderella and her famous glass slipper. Cinderella from Masked Cinderella is a teen who thinks and feels like a 21st century girl, and she won't wait for her fairy godmother to solve her problems. Our Cinderella lives in the mythical kingdom of Once Upon a Time, a world where characters from classic fairy tales live and interact, a place I'm sure you all remember. But memory can be deceptive. Like our world, the fairy tale world is changing. To start with, Cinderella studies in the incredible Grimm Brothers High School with such peculiar classmates, like the rebellious Little Red Riding Hood, the not-so-sociable Beast, or the famous influencer, the Little Mermaid. Just like teens in our world, they're all addicted to their magic devices like mirror cell phones and crystal ball computers, which they use to interact on the fairy net, which is a bit like our internet. But the most surprising thing about this kingdom is that it is becoming more politically correct. Bear in mind, too, that the wolf has gone vegan, the ogres are on reintegration programs, and the wicked stepmothers are in family therapy. But the worst of all is that nobody is as they seem. 
The wolf is a secret meat eater. Rumpelstiltskin sells forbidden magic. The princesses fight like cats and dogs for the most likes on social media. And the powerful villains plot to regain their power. Now, more than ever, the kingdom needs a heroine, someone with the empathy and imagination to deal with such a complex place. And this heroine can only be masked Cinderella. The problem is, in the beginning, Cinderella doesn't know who she is, and she feels like a complete nobody. But one day, she discovers that the famous masked hero was her father, and she is called on to be his successor. From here on, everything makes sense to Cinderella. From then on, her family and high school become her cover story, and our girl changes from being a nobody to a celebrity who everybody loves. It's a good thing Cinderella isn't alone in her new mission. Merlin, a geeky hypochondriac who thinks he's allergic to magic, forms a team with Cinderella and together they have exciting adventures. It's a pity that they are novices and are quite often bullied by trolls, stepped on by giants, or converted into pumpkins. The Onion Princess Cinderella and Merlin are dying to have their first adventure as masked heroes. But Prince Charming has new armor and deals with all the danger before they arrive, and there's nothing left for them to do. Nobody realizes that they are dealing with a magic armor, which is empty inside and fights by itself. It was a gift, which her stepsister Gertrudis bought from Rumpelstiltskin and gave to the prince in return for being crowned the Onion Princess. All the influencers in the kingdom can only dream of wearing this crown. The Mysterious Musician Cinderella can't stop thinking about the mysterious musician, whom nobody's ever seen, but whose music is all over the fairy net. She loves him. One day, she comes across a handsome young musician playing in a quiet corner and falls in love with him. When he notices her, the musician runs off, leaving behind one of his shoes. Cinderella discovers that the shoe belongs to Beast, the school baddie everyone's afraid of, who transforms into an adorable human boy with the magic of music. The Perfect Family Cinderella is really stressed because she knows the main villains are planning to attack masked Cinderella. At the same time, the social services fairy is coming to check up on her foster family. Cinderella has to pretend to be part of a perfect family. Fed up, Cinderella tells the truth, but Gertrudis makes Cinderella look like an ungrateful brat. Cinderella is sent to a re-education camp where she comes across the villains, discovers their plans, and manages to disrupt them. And here are some ideas that we have for transmedia projects. Masked Cinderella is the dream child of a team that has been working together for almost three decades. So, on the practical front, we estimate the production budget at 6.5 million euros, and we are currently looking for co-production partners and broadcasters. Hola, soy María Bonaria Fois. Soy la directora general de Mundo TV Iberoamérica y la administradora del estudio de producción de animación Mundo TV Canarias con sede en Tenerife. Mundo TV es el coproductor de Cenicienta Enmascarada, el proyecto que acabáis de ver. Desde que Miriam me lo presentó hace un par de meses, enseguida pude ver el enorme potencial comercial que tiene este proyecto. Se trata, como habéis visto, de historias inspiradas en los cuentos clásicos, pero con un guiño al mundo moderno y además contadas en clave de comedia. Creemos que esta es una fórmula que se adapta a las audiencias de todo el mundo. A nadie se le tiene que explicar quién es Cenicienta, pero seguramente todo el mundo tendrá curiosidad por conocer a una cenicienta en clave de superheroína que hasta ahora no se ha visto todavía. Si a esto le añadimos el desarrollo 360 grados de producto derivado y el transmedia que se puede generar, estamos seguros de tener entre manos un proyecto de seguro éxito. Muchísimas gracias.